what is up guys welcome back to the channel if you guys are new here hi my name is jasmine and if you guys are not what to do what to do what to do all right guys so um it is november 19th sorry it is thank you honey but i'm gonna turn it is november 19th guys and i am 16 sorry 16 weeks pregnant so i'm four months pregnant right now don't mind me i am eating a preggy pop drop because i started feeling a little bit nauseous so that's what i'm uh, that's what i'm uh second on right now but yeah i am on my way we are on our way to go see baby girl um i actually have two doctor's appointments today i have one at 1 30 and it's currently 1 15 which i'm actually almost there right now but i have one at 1 30 and then i have another appointment at 1 50 and it's in the same place so I'm hoping I won't be there for too long. I mean, my last appointment was on Halloween. And I was there for two hours, guys. Mama was not happy. But I was there for two hours. So, um, yeah. We are having a girl. We found out uh, on the 25th. The day after Thanksgiving. And, uh, yeah. Everyone's super excited, like... We went to uh, Black Friday shopping with uh, me, my sister, me, both of my sisters, the kids, and Yon. We all went Black Friday shopping together. And I ended up buying like a little, um, like a little sweater jacket, I guess you could say, for a baby girl. But I got it in the three to six months because it says she's born, she's going to be due in May, which is summer for us and where we live. Um... But yeah, we're just, we're just, we're just really excited and we're blessed, you know. Um, but I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to go ahead and get to this doctor's appointment and I will talk to you guys later. Alright guys, so, so baby girl's doing good. Um, I didn't get a full ultrasound. I, they just used the Doppler and then just checked her heartbeat. And her heartbeat's at 145 right now, which is actually really good. I have been going through more symptoms than lately. I have, like, shortness of breath. I still have morning sickness, but it's not as bad. Um, I do get lightheaded. I get dizzy. And then um, I still have that nasty, weird taste in my mouth along with uh, a lot of mucus. It hasn't, it hasn't eased up yet that much. And like I said, I'm like 16 weeks right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and eat something for now. And that might just be it for today's little intro video to our second trimester. Hey guys. So it is Monday, December 11th. And um, I am sitting in the car waiting for it to warm up. And then, oops, sorry. It was so hard to get this camera right because I do not have um, a car mount for my camera. Well, for my phone, I mean. Um, but yeah. Woo! December 11th. I am 18th pregnant. 18th pregnant. What the heck? I am 18 months pregnant right now. Whoa! Guys, let me just. Let me calm down. Redo. Okay back to what I was saying I am 18 weeks pregnant um, we are on our way we meaning me and you guys we are on our way to baby girls um, a doctor's appointment um, so we're gonna be able to go see her today I'm really excited because the last time I had um, a doctor's appointment or an OB appointment we didn't get to see her but we did just use the little um Dobby the do I think that's what it's called, the doggle, or the little, the monitor that just lets you listen to her heart, and that's all we did, and then I also went and got some tests done, that tests for like, um, genetic mutations, and stuff like that, because since I do have MG, 
Um, and then the medication that I'm on, it can cause baby girl to have or develop like a cleft lip or um, like spinal problems or like my MG symptoms can enter through her umbilical cord and it will cause her not to move as much. So I do go get an ultrasound about every month um, just so we can keep track of her. <sighs> but yeah, so we are we are out here for real, for real. It is for real cloudy, guys. Like, look. It is cloudy. It was raining. Like, I love this kind of weather. No lie. Like, this is my favorite weather to be in. Choice. If I had a choice. Like, my, fa my favorite season is fall. But this is my type of weather. I don't know. I just like the gloomy weather. And the I like that since I do live in California. California it's not as often that it's like this so I know like some people can't stand like the gloomy weather because it can make them uh, depressed or something like that <clears throat> so yeah I am literally eating dry cereal I'm eating Lucky Charms in a cup guys because I was I've been having a really bad like acid reflex um and heartburn lately on top of the nausea that I still have and that nasty taste in my mouth the nasty taste in my mouth is not um, as potent, 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 potent as it used to be. Um, so that's actually kind of gone away. It's only like every now and then when I get like the acid, I mean, get the uh, nasty taste in my mouth. So, but I do have acid reflux and heartburn really bad. So I started eating yogurt and the last time I ate yogurt, like I did not have it for, I didn't have that symptom for like half of the day. Oh. So after this appointment, I plan to come back to the house um, and eat uh, a bowl of yogurt while I just sit down and do some work on my um, on my tablet. Uh, I need a new laptop. It was also part of the reason why I haven't been posting that much because I was really sick, like really sick through this pregnancy, and then also. Um, my my tablet that my tablet that I use I always I have um a Windows Pro tablet and I use it as a key as a as a laptop because I have a keyboard attached to it so I just always use it for, as a laptop and I always edit my videos but I don't know what happened like the touch screen on it stopped working everything started frying and like malfunctioning so I'm really excited because John and then. Yan went ahead and bought me a new laptop, so I'm really excited. That should be coming in on um, on Wednesday. We're gonna deliver because the store we found it. We found a good one on sale. So the store, or we got it from Best Buy, but the Best Buy that was in our area was sold out of it. And then there was another one available, but it was in a city that was. I mean, it's, it wasn't really that long of a drive. But it was about a good 30 minute drive so and i didn't feel like driving over there so i just went ahead and had it ordered online because i was like what if i try to drive over there and the amount of time that it takes me to get over there from driving it sells so we went ahead and ordered it online and so it's gonna be here wednesday so i'm really excited guys like, i'm really excited um so we're almost at kaiser literally like a few more a few more lights and I feel really bad because, I mean, I'm not, like, late or whatever, but I'm literally going to get there on time. And I do like to get there at least, like, I know they say give it 15 minutes, try to get there 15 minutes before your appointment. I normally get there, like, five minutes before my appointment. But today I literally left on time, so I'm literally going to be there on time. Like, my appointment's at 11, and it is 10.53 right now. So, I think by the time I find parking, it'll literally be like 11 or actually no. I'm literally about to go into the parking lot right now. Like after two more lights, I'm going to be in the Kaiser parking lot. So, I think by the time I check in, it's going to be exactly 11 o'clock. Which is what I don't like. But it's okay. But it's okay because we're still on time. We may, we may not be early, y'all. Like I wanted to be, but we are on time. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking about going to, uh, 
Bath and Body Works after my appointment only because I'm out already and I am not somebody who likes to, um, I don't know why that car was flashing their lights at me or just flashing their lights at somebody. Okay. I am just somebody who does not like to stay out for that long, um, especially because I always have something going on with me. Either I'm feeling sick or my MG starts messing up. So I just don't like to, um, I just don't like to be out for a long time. So I'm just going to go to my appointment. I'm going to go to Bath and Body Works because um, my grandmother wanted some Bath and Body Works for Christmas. So I'm going to go ahead and get her that. And then Yon. Um, Jan doesn't really like get that kind of stuff, but it's probably because I don't buy it for him. So now I'm thinking like if I buy it for him, maybe he'll start using it. So I mainly got it for when he's on the road. If you guys, if any of you guys know anything about the truck light, it's, it is a rough, it, it's, it's a rough job. So, um, it's a rough job, especially when it comes to like hygiene. So. I do want to go ahead and get him like some toiletry stuff for his truck. Um, but I want it to be like the really good, like smelly kind. So that's why I'm going to get him some Bath and Body Works one. But okay, guys, I'm about to pull into Kaiser's parking lot and I will talk to y'all when we get out of here. Yes. I'm not even going to lie, guys. The lighting in this bathroom looks real good. Um, but we're here in Kaiser. I literally checked in at 11.03. So, um, if you guys don't know, whenever you guys go, you guys have to do a urine sample before your appointment. Um, it's just to check for any, um, infections or anything. So they give you like a little pee cup to pee in. And yeah, that's what we're about to do. And I like to use this bathroom stall that has like a little baby thing to set my stuff on. Because, girl... Sometimes they do not have the hooks for your purse. to whoever is watching this video right now it is what is it december 19th i am heading to my job right now because i am going to put in my two weeks notice like i'm going to quit my current job right now um i have some big 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 news y'all and we got a house out in Oklahoma which is beautiful because it's more closer to Yon's job if I if I haven't mentioned it before you know Yon's a truck driver so yes my hubby is a truck driver so it's more closer to where he is um stationed at so yeah I'm going to work to go put in my two weeks and then after that I you know I'm just gonna be like a stay-at-home mama and I'm gonna say kudos to everybody who is a stay-at-home mama. If you're a stay-at-home mama, if you're a stay-at-home happy, like kudos to you because I am about to join y'all squad right now. So I'm just so happy. Like I'm overwhelmed and I'm happy because I'm like one of those people that be like, oh no, like that could never happen to me. And like, y'all, it's happening to me. Like, yes, like like on some for real stuff like you know we just gotta give god all the honor and all the glory because this is literally when i tell you guys i prayed for this like i prayed for this like when i told you like me and yon prayed for another baby and look at us and i said lord if you bless us with a baby please bless us with a house a house a home a place that we can call home a place that we can have our own family and raise them up in the way that you want them to be raised lord and yes the lord is answering our prayers lord god yes thank you amen like 
I'm just so thankful. Like, when I tell you guys I am very thankful, like, I am so thankful. So, I'm about to get up here into this job and go sit down with my manager because I'm already running late. But it's okay. It's okay. I will see y'all in a minute. Hey guys, so it's been about, I'm sitting outside in the front yard, the kids are outside riding their bikes, but it's been about two days since I last talked to you guys, and I remember telling you guys that we're moving, right? But I feel like the devil is just really trying to play us right now, because um, I, if I didn't mention it before, I put in my two weeks notice at my job, so I'm going to be a stay-at-home mom now, so um, I put in my two weeks notice already. And then Jan's coming home for Christmas and he's going to be home for a week because he has jury duty, which means that is a week of pay that he's not going to be getting. So why am I telling you guys all this? As you know, like I said, we're also, we live in California right now and we're going to be moving to Oklahoma. That's where we bought our house at. <sighs> we have to drive there, guys. And why all of a sudden my car's transmission is going out? What? Like... Um, what? So like the money that we were saving up for our gas and everything to get um to get our um we I don't know if we're gonna rent a U-Haul to get some front furniture over there, um but to like get our gas and everything and might probably have to rent a U-Haul. That's all the money that we were saving. Then now we have might have to use for me to get a new transmission or get my transmission worked on because that is going out. So <laughs> it's just a little bump in the road and I just. It just has to happen on when we're moving. Like, I'm just like, really? Like, come on now. Come on now. Come on. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. Hi, Kai Kai. Me? Hi, right, guys. I don't even know. I don't even know.